Hi, this is a quick look at my experience upgrading the Sony VAIO VPC-F236FM laptop from Windows 7 to Windows 10. It's basically to reassure other owners of this model that the upgrade can indeed work. There wasn't much information out there that I could find about upgrading this particular model. Sony said that they do not support it anymore. There's no drivers, no support for upgrades to Windows 10. However, I kept getting, like everyone, uh, bombed with upgrade notices for upgrading my system. I tried it first in fall of 2015, and Sony basically said at that time on their website that you're on your own. It took a couple of hours, but uh, it did work. But then there was a disaster when updates were pushed out uh, a few days later um, without my knowledge. I got an error message saying the computer wouldn't boot, but I was able to roll the upgrade back to uh, Windows 7 and uh, decided that I would leave it things alone forever and never try Windows 10 again. And at the same time, I couldn't find out much of anything about anyone's upgrade experiences with this model, except there were some uh, discussions about the NVIDIA GeForce uh, GT540M display driver possibly causing problems with Windows 10 upgrades. Well, in May of 2016, I decided to try again with my, since I'd upgraded my uh, wife's HP computer to Windows 10. Um, and uh, since this hardware is still pretty good, it, I thought it might be uh, worth trying again. Well, I decided uh, in May of this year, 2016, to try an upgrade to Windows 10 again, since the free upgrade period is going to expire, I believe, at the end of July. So I, Sony's website now is saying that even though they don't support it, it should be able to install Windows 10 if the system meets Microsoft's requirements to run it. And they did say Sony apps may not continue to work, and Sony cannot guarantee the system capability after installing. Well, I was successful, but again, your your mileage may vary because there's so many different configuration possibilities. But all I can say is that it worked in this particular case. I first made a full system backup of Windows 7, uh, which I think you have to, or, or you could be in, in serious trouble. Then I upgraded the NVIDIA driver for Windows 7. I'm not sure that was necessary at all, but I thought maybe it would help make the upgrade work better. I don't know. I used the uh, Windows 10 upgrade wizard, including performing the pre-upgrade check, and it could not find any problems with apps or the system itself. So I initiated the upgrade, and it took about seven hours to complete, which was longer than the two hours of the first upgrade took, and I'm hoping that's because it installed a lot of new drivers that weren't available back in 2015. I don't know. After that, I updated the Windows 10 NVIDIA driver to version 365.19. Uh, I got the driver directly from the NVIDIA site, and uh, but be sure you pick a driver that's the, uh, the stable version of the uh, of the display driver. They do have some beta versions, etc. I did encounter a couple of issues. It appears when you restart Windows 10, as opposed to shutting it down and, and bringing it up again, that the battery and volume icons will disappear, at least in my particular case, down in the lower right of your screen. Um, you can see them down here. They They will actually disappear, and I can show you how I fixed that, and I have to do that whenever I restart. Also, I'm a Flight Simulator fan, and I know quite a few people have said if they couldn't run Flight Simulator under Windows 10, they would never upgrade. But anyway, um, there was one issue with Flight Simulator, and I'll show you how I fix that. But so far, so good. I think Microsoft has probably been making changes in Windows 10 as they get more information from the users. And your chances of success are better now than they were last year. But again, results are not guaranteed. So let me go ahead and show you how I fix those two issues.
Okay, so to fix the volume icon disappearing issue, which happens consistently when I restart as opposed to shutting down, and this has been out on the uh, internet, just right click down on the taskbar and pick task manager. Just go to the uh, Windows Explorer which is generally down here at the bottom of the process list. Um, sometimes it actually shows up up here under apps. Uh, I guess it just depends. Anyway, I just uh, highlight Windows Explorer and click restart and watch in horror as the display goes away. And that successfully brings back the uh, the volume and the battery icons and it's pretty critical to have the volume icon because you know you can select all of your playback devices and turn them off and on etc and the recording devices so you really want to be sure you have that available okay now here is just in the middle of a flight on flight simulator basically when you end a flight, if you don't make this change, you'll just get a blank screen. Flight Simulator will be stuck. It will not uh, continue. You'll have to basically restart it completely. Normally it would come down to a, a home screen. And the way you fix that is just go up to Options, Settings, Display, and you'll see I have this box already checked. Preview DirectX 10. You will find that that is not checked. So just go ahead and check it. And that fixes that issue. It causes it to operate correctly. And when you end a flight, you'll come back to the home screen. It will not get uh, stuck in the middle. But so far, those are the only two issues that I've encountered after this update. And I, uh, I can't guarantee that you'll have success either, but I hope this helps somebody who may be thinking about updating this particular laptop. Thanks for watching.